Boom, boom, this is Ken Rear coming at you from the corner. How's everyone doing today? All right, we got uh, a final review up on uh, Sins Raid. Um, so I think this is a really good game. Uh, I wasn't too, um, wasn't too hippie on it when it first came out because uh, it seemed like um, that th there was just a, a lot going on. I mean, there's like, you know, uh, three or four different types of co-ops, uh, multiple types of PvP. Um, and a lot of the quests and stuff that you have to do during the day requires you to have, uh, requires you to, um, you know, party up with people. So what, what, the reason I don't particularly, uh, like games like that is because when you're required to party up with people, sometimes if there's not people online, it can prevent a problem. And that's going to make it a lot, that's going to make the determination as to whether or not this game eventually succeeds is if people continue to play it. Um, and if they can continue, if you can continue to get team ups, so you can do the mine, and do, so you can do Sinopoly and things like that, um, because a lot of a lot of that requires you to pair up with uh, uh, another person, either one of your friends or just you know somebody who's uh, sitting in the um, sitting in the queues waiting, uh, and and that's the problem with this game. Um, it, there's not a lot of that going on right now. Uh, there's not a lot of people. Um, format, uh, you know, waiting in queues, uh, uh, you know, s trying to get the mine and the Sinopoly. You have to do the mine. I think you have to do the mine twice. Uh, I think the mine is twice here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, you have to do the mine twice and you have to do Sinopoly once um, uh, for the questing. Um, so, you know, it, and a lot of times there's just, there's just nobody in the queues. Um, so it takes a really long time, and it's the same with a lot of these. There's just not a lot of people. Um, I think I've been in one five-man co-op, so I've been able to team up for. Um, and uh, you know, it uh, on from the single you know single-player point of view, it's not bad game at all. Um, they have it set up so that uh, every 100 um, pulls on the epic summon, uh, you'll get you'll get an SS uh, you'll get an SS character. So th so it doesn't look like they're excluding anything. Um, I've pulled, uh, on this 2000, I've pulled, um, about 30, uh, 30, 30, 40, actually 40 times, uh, I've pulled the spanner four times, uh, and I never, ever got a, um, an SS character in, in any of those pools. Um, I got a Wavebringer, um, and Defender, and I got one other, um, S-rank character, uh, out of those pools, uh, out of the 40 pools. So I got three S rank characters. Yeah, it's this one right here. Um, Executioner. Um, I got him. Now, um, Hellsinger was, of course, from the um, fourth, uh, the, the, the uh, you know, new player event at day 14. You got him. Um, uh, Frost Queen was the. Um, actually, I think, no, I did not get Defender out of that. I got, I, I pulled another Defender out of that but the original defender you get from the play if that's your first player log on first day log on this was a second day log on um and then hellsinger was 14. i got wavebringer out of that and the the other one out of that floral fairy um i was unable to quite get i got like 80 um 80 pools for 80 um uh uh shards for her from you know as the opening event they had uh uh you know a uh, carnival where you could get her you needed to get 100 shards i got like 86 i think uh, so but and then i did wishing in my um i did a couple wishes in my guild and then i was able to get her out of uh out of i can't remember which store it was it's one of these stores in here had her shards up and i got i got like four out of there so that's how i managed to get her um and finally, I, I got her unlocked, and she's the healer. So this is my quintessential team. Um, it's not a bad team. Um, it's not. It's not going to be able to beat the game. Um, you're going to need. You're going to need SS characters to do that, because um, uh, it, you just need to be dealing out. Multi, you know, a bunch of damage um, to do it. And this team, although I can deal out a pretty good bit of damage, I can't quite get to the point where this will beat the game. Uh, you're going to have to play a little bit longer and continue to acquire those SS characters, which you get, that's what, that's the, the selling point of this game. And that's just why I think that this game has a chance to succeed very well is because of that summon pool 
and the ability to get a guaranteed SS character. You need to pull 100 times granted. So you're looking at, so you have to get 100, so you pull 10, so that's going to be 10 pulls at two. So you're going to look at 20,000, um, 20,000, you know, of the currency there to, to get that. And um, you can get that over time. And they give you a, a lot of epic summon um, cards for logging events and things. So, th so the cards are there to get. Um, but you, you know, and then so, uh, you know, I've got there. Um, I've got to there. Uh, you know, I got there once, um, and I ended up getting a copy of Hellslinger. <laughs> so I got him, and then they give you another copy, um, and then I got another copy, which is why he's awoken two times. Um, so. Uh, but yeah, so so you know it's 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 not a bad game. Uh, the graphics are excellent. Uh, the fighting is dynamic. Um, uh, they do have an auto if you're into that. They do have uh, sweeps and stuff to use up. Uh, you know, mana to get to get uh, you know to get the required because um, to get the you know the uh, echelon crystals here to to rank up, you can get those you know just by playing through the levels. So there's no there's no block um, preventing you from succeeding in this game. If you put the time in this game, you should be able to succeed fairly, uh, fairly well in this game. Um, you know, it's just going to take time because you need to pull, you know, you need to pull, you know, a, every 100 and you get an SS character and hopefully it'll be a character you can use. And I think that once you do that, you'll be able to, you know, send the game. And then, of course, you can always, you can always, uh, you know, spend money to get crystals and stuff. Um, They've got all that stuff. They also offer some, some you know, some of the nice, uh, uh, you know, shards and stuff in here. So th there's stuff out there. Um, you know, like I've got 86,000 of these, so I could purchase, you know, some, you know, so so they give you the stuff to do it. I mean, you could just keep, you know, buying the shards each time. Um, and there's, there's, they also give out shards on the levels. So, you know, this, this, this game has, this game is promising. Um, if you if you want to submit the time, you can do it for free. Um, it, it, it's going to go a lot faster if you're willing to spend a little bit of money. Like they've got um, Death Warlock shards here, so you're guaranteed to get you know. And then they've got uh, Nightblade shards here, so they. Um, and then you've got uh, Lone Ranger shards here. So as you can see, they have SS characters, and you know you can get shards for them within the standard sweeps that you can do each day. So, you know, and the sweeps are very nice. I mean, you just, you know, sweep it, and you can do 10 sweeps just like that, okay? And this will get you the echelon stones, and this will get you, uh, uh, you know, uh, potions to level up your characters. You use the the EXPs here to level up your characters, and then once you get every, uh, you know, like on a 50, when you get to go up to 60, you'll need to have uh, some echelon stones. So, um, but you get those in the layers. So it's a little bit... It's, there's a little bit of a, a block there. It takes you just a few days longer than it would normally. Um, as you can see now, I have Frost King Wavebringer. All these can be bought up. Um, uh, you know, I could break those and bring them up to the next level. Um, to get to get to get the actual, you, the, you have to get them like you have to get dupes. Frost Queen, I've got a couple dupes, which is why she's going to be ready to be uh, awoken um, pretty soon here. So when she gets up to 80, um, and so you have to get dupes to actually break your characters, okay? So, um, and that's why Hellslinger is because I, I got, I, the one S, S character I got after my first 100 pulls was Hellslinger, and then you got two Hellslingers from the actual events. Um, so I was able to, I think you got him at seven days, and then you got him again at 14 days, I believe. Um, and then that's, that's, you know, and then that's how you got him. So I have him broke twice instead of just broke, instead of awakened once, um, he's awakened twice because you got the original character, then awakened him once with the day, you got it 14 and then I could awaken him again because I got another character out of the SS, uh, uh, pull for him. So it's, it's doable. Um, it's just going to take a lot of time and you're gonna have to focus on the game, uh, consistently play it. Um, unless you want to spend a little bit of money to make it go faster, which is standard. But uh, in terms of that, you know, it's not a bad game at all. Um, you know, it was it was fun to play for a little while. I, I enjoyed it. Um, it's not something I'm going to put into my um, a permanent uh, uh, round because, uh, as you know, here in about 
um, 13, 14 days we're going to be having uh, the Seven Deadly Sins will be coming out on mobile. It's global release. So um, uh, we'll definitely be reviewing that and uh, hopefully it'll go very well and um, I'll be able to make that uh, uh, one of the games that I focus on. As right now I'm just focusing on um, uh, Den Machi, um, Memoria Freeze, uh, Azerlane, and um, Destiny Child. And uh, I'm also playing uh, Symphogear Unlimited XD right now. And uh, I'm going to see if I want to move that in. Uh, Symphogear XD Unlimited right now is having a collab with um, Attack on Titan. So if you're an Attack on Titan fan, you might want to download that game and give it a try. Um, but yeah, so this is it. So Sins Raid, it's not a bad game. Um, good graphics, uh, good gameplay, um, uh, good design style. And it looks to be, you know, it looks to be something that you can, if you, if you want to focus the time on and do something, you might be able to to have a pretty good run with it. But, uh, yeah, so um, just wanted to give you an up, ups on that. And uh, as we will do, we'll be uh, going to do a little bit more uh, reviews on uh, some of the other games that are coming out here. Um, thinking about doing Calibria and maybe one other game. And then, of course, we'll be doing Seven Deadly Sins when it comes out on March 3rd. Okay, so uh, just wanted to give you a quick video, let you know the final review on it, and I say it is, uh, it's free to play, and uh, it looks like, it, you know, you can have a pretty good success. So uh, they give you the tools that you need to get SS characters, um, and then it's just, a, uh, and it's just a matter of taking the time to, you know, focus on running your levels, doing your sweeps if you need to, getting the required echelon stones, and getting SP potions to level them up, um, and, uh, uh, and you should be able to do it. So... Uh, so that's it for the rating. So go ahead and put a like on the video if you like it. And remember, if you want to be notified every time I do drop a video, uh, click on the subscription button. And this is Ken Rear signing out.